Well, I think I think it's I think as dermatologists, we all have to be realistic. Okay, as, as Jill said, there are patients that you know need a facelift. Okay, but then there are patients that come in who need a facelift that don't want the facelift, and that's where we have to do what Vic says, which is take all of our modalities. You know, and it's a lot of money. And again, we don't know how long it's going to last. And we we need to get the data out there. We need to you know do this as best we can. Jewel. Yeah. One thing I would say is that you know, as a laser resurfacing person, I do it. That's probably the number one procedure. Is if you do a really good laser resurfacing procedure, and at the end of the you know the the six month follow up, they don't have wrinkles. In my experience, those hold. You know, five years, even even longer. Now I have a couple of celebrities that come and get them every six months, and that's my only you know people that do that on a regular basis. Same thing with facelifts. I'm in Miami. I send a lot of things far away. And if I have patients that have had fa fabulous facelifts from a lot of people on this faculty, you know, they tend to last a long time. And then there's some facelifts I see that two or three years, and maybe it depends on the patient's health and smoking or the day doing IPL Botox and fillers in between. But I think a lot of it has to do with the art of aesthetic surgery. It does have to do with the surgeon. It does have to do with the patient. You know, if, you, if you're a surgeon, you, there's tissue and then there's tissue. Um, but the, uh, so I, I think that's, that's the case. I think that I wanted to say that I honestly tell, when I'm just talking about a narrow wound, when someone comes in and they want non-invasive tissue tightening, uh, it's not a joke. I honestly tell this to every single patient at the end of my day. It's variable. I tell them why. I can't control your immune system. You can't control your immune system. It's a response to the heat or whatever we're doing. And then I say, I don't want to offend you, but you've got to have more money and more time than most people to have this procedure. I mean, if, I'm, if you're the school teacher from East Texas that's saving up all of her money to, to have one procedure done, just wait and have a facelift. It's the most predictable thing you can do. But if, but, but, and then a lot of my patients go, I got the money and I got the time, let's go. And that's fine, but I tell every single patient that, and it gets their attention, and, and if they walk out the door, I'm fine with that.